Hello, Mike here. I'm gonna do a little shop tip video for you. And I'm sure that a few of you probably have encountered this because this happened to me a couple times. And so I decided to come up with a new solution for my drill press here. Uh, what ended up happening to my drill press here is the, the spring, the, the rotisserie, or I guess it's a rotary spring. It, uh, it broke several times and I tried to fix it and reclamp it and rebend it and try to get it back in the groove, but it just kept on breaking over and over again. And it just got shorter and to a point where it just it was unfixable. And the, the shop um, where I bought my uh, drill press from uh, wanted like 50 bucks for a new spring and a couple weeks to deliver one in. Um, so I tried to, to come up with a, a new solution for it and I hope this will work for you because it, uh, it works for me. So the spring uh, resides here at this little section right here and you can see there's a groove in there and there's a flange that uh, bends o over on the spring and it slides in there and mine as you can see they're kept on breaking so that was a kind of a pain and pretty much rendered my drill press useless so this was the spring that's in the middle there and wraps in like that and that groove goes into the slide of the slot in the shaft of the drill press and that broke on mine and I tried to re-bend that again and it broke again so so pretty much that was done. So it's just a few basic parts that I use. I got a, a two inch uh, piece of aluminum that I had kicking around in my shop. I drilled a hole for the shaft. I put a, a, a nail across there to slide in the groove and then I put a little slot in there for a bike cable. I had an old uh, bike brake cable and that fits in the slot right there. And then I got two uh, aluminum uh, washers which I cut out out of thin plate aluminum and that keeps it in and then I got also got uh, an extension spring so it's about a three inch spring uh, the gauge is, is okay in that and and then I got a little uh, bolt a quarter inch bolt about a three quarter inch long and I put a little uh, hole in there as you can see there's a little hole for the bike cable to go through to lock it into place now if you can't find the springs, you might be able to find two smaller ones and put those together, that will work as well. I also got a turnbuckle, which I ended up not needing because I could get the right tension without the turnbuckle. So if you have a different types of uh, spring weight, you might be able to use the turnbuckle. I didn't need to. Close the little way. Try that again. So you can see it with the brake cable wraps around the, the post. Well, I hope that uh, was informative for you and you can get your drill press back working again. Um, it seemed to work for me and uh, it's been at it for a couple weeks now with no issues. Um, let me know how you make out. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, just write down there. And uh, I'd like to see what you came up with or any ideas or recommendations to make mine a little better if you have any. Thanks for watching.